So, bit of publicity recently, which I, in the last couple of days, um, just quickly pulling up an article in the Brisbane Times, heading almost 3,000 private buildings yet to be cleared of cladding concerns. Have you got anything to add to or put that into context? Because I know there's various stages or gates, as I like to call them, and I'm, I must admit I need to get my head back into there in terms of where where this whole process is meant to be. But can you add some bit of clarity around all that? Yes, absolutely. So 2018, in response to the fires in Melbourne and London and the buildings that they were discovering in Sydney, the, go- the Queensland government introduced a regulation that requires buildings, I think they're built um, between, is it 94 and 2018? Anyway, there's a set number of buildings, about 20,000 buildings are caught up. Uh, and I can't remember what the date of construction is, but that's how they limit it. There are class two to nine buildings, so it's units and you know, almost anything that's a high rise unit block plus commercial buildings, offices, that had to do an assessment. Now, there were, 20, as I say, 20,000 caught, and by May 2021, so the middle of next year, it has to be finished, and that will identify buildings that um, have some fire safety risk as a result of combustible cladding. So that's where we're headed. Uh, we started with 20,000, and it's been sort of... Uh, they've been weeded out through two assessments. So there are still about 2,800 being assessed by a fire engineer. And by the by, 1st of May next year, they need to have completed a fire safety risk assessment. Now, we that, that will be very interesting because that will identify some of those for sure are going to need significant rectification. They're going to have a you know, they're going to be covered in cladding. Now, where they are and how many there are, we really don't know. We're hopeful that it's going to be something less than 100. Mm. Uh, and one of the challenges of, is that the regulation that is in place does not require the owner, and some of these will be bodies corporate, to actually rectify. It just requires the owner to have gone through the process and they will be aware that they've got a problem. So at some point soon we expect the government will say, well, they're going to have to say, well, you've got to do something about this. So as I say, we, it could be 50 or 60 buildings. It could be 100. It's certainly not going to be the 2,800 that will end up having this fire safety risk assessment. Some of them might just ha- you know, have to do bugger all in the scheme of things, but some will require significant work. And if you look, so that's the private sector, and if you look at the 880 about government buildings that went through the same process, there's 24 of those that need rectification. And some of those are going to cost millions. So we, there's every reason to expect that that will apply in the private sector. Now, no one, you know, there is, and I'm not aware of any buildings privately owned that are uh, in that boat, but they will emerge over time. 